All right, this is just a quick video to look at movement in joints and different ways that you can move joints depending on the type of joint. We're talking, of course, about synovial joints in general. You have some synovial fluid in here. You should be able to identify the biceps, the triceps as antagonistic muscles that work opposite each other in order to bring about some types of movement. So the structure of the joint will determine the type of possible movement. You already know that there are some joints that can only move in one plane and then there are some joints that can move uh, in many planes or kind of, you know, like the shoulder and like the hip. So we've got the knee or like the elbow, which is a hinge joint. There's two types of movement. And the thing that's a little bit tricky about this is we've there are specific words to help us understand the types of movement that are possible. So far, so good. You should probably know these words. Flexion, meaning to bend something or to flex something, and extension, to bring it out. So you can kind of see that in this diagram of a knee right here. So this is fully extended, and then this is flexed. So two movements forwards and backwards. This is a hinge type of joint. This one you're probably familiar with, which is a, a hip joint or like a shoulder joint. It's a ball and socket joint, really cool design where you put this little smooth ball inside here and then you can move around in all planes. Greater range of movement to help with nice tennis swings or karate kicks or swimming with the butterfly stroke. I can't do that one. I can't do the backstroke either. I can't do the breaststroke either. And it turns out I can't even do freestyle front crawl. Um, I just can't swim. So the hip joint or the shoulder joint, the type of ball and socket joint, flex and extend. We've seen that already. It can, can do that. It can do some rotation. And these words you probably don't use very often. Moving sideways and back. So that is pointing to this right here so you can understand when this shoulder moves upwards and outwards like this this is called abduction this is it has other meanings when you're talking about other things like kidnapping but anyways this movement is called abduction when it moves up and then when it moves back down it's called adduction adduction abduction adduction that's it short video i think the main thing here is to learn these two words right here abduction adduction abduction adduction